Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be looking at Karamba to Revit BIM workflow. First of all, we'll create simple struct, uh, trust structure in Karamba, and then we'll send Karamba data to Dynamo BIM, um, and we will use Rhinamo plugin in Dynamo, and after that we'll send this Dynamo data to Revit to create simple structure from Karamba. Okay, let's open Rhino and Grasshopper. Let's type construct point component. So we have initial point for our truss. And I'm going to move this geometry to x-axis. Type move component and provide x-axis uh, component. And then let's give minimum 1 meter and value of 6 meter and maximum let's say 10 meter of number slider and connect that and these top two point will connect with the line component so starting point will connect to the A and end point will connect to the B so we have bottom code of the truss uh, with a single line and I'm going to move up this line to Z-axis for the top code and this time we'll provide minimum 1 meter again and maximum uh, 1.5 meters of value and let's say maximum 5 meters of height with number slider and then let's test so we can have top code location and let, uh, let's move it to 1.5 meter now we're going to divide these two lines with divide component, divide curve, and let's connect bottom code line and top code line at the same time. And I'm going to divide them around 8 division. That would make sense. Now, as you see, we connect those two components into one input of divide curve so our output of uh, points has three, two tree structure so we need to explore tree structure in each tree so let's say explode tree component and let's explore this output with two tree structure now we'll extract points to make a web and post of the truss structure. For example, we have center point. From there, we have. I'm going to split the list on the left side and the right side, so that we can connect these um, split points to the bottom code of the points. For instance, we're going to create web, and we're going to provide post in the center, and again we'll have another web on the right hand side. So the rest of lines we're going to connect as a post. Then we can create simple truss structure. Okay. So to do that, we're going we'll split those three structure as a one, two, three, four, five points, and then in the bottom I also create another one two three four five points and later on I'm going to sh I'll shift one point from the top so we will have total four points uh, sorry we'll shift bottom point one and we'll remove first point so we'll have four points on the bottom and we'll have five points on the top so that we can connect them with the endpoint component. Okay. So let's go ahead type uh, list length in order to count how many points we have in this list, which is nine for the first three and second three we have nine of them as well. So both of them have same number of points. Now I'm going to type split list component, and we will split. Let's say first three which is first points 
global points and now I'm going to give simple expression that we'll have number of points and we'll subtract one of them and after that we'll divide by 2 in this case we'll have 9 points as a list count list so 9 of them will subtract by 1 which is 8 and then divide by 2 which will be 4 points but as I said we'll have 5 points on the top so I'll provide plus 1 at the end so now when we connect this point to down let's see display the points then we have sorry bottom 5 points on the bottom and I'm going to copy and paste this component and this time I'm going to connect our second tree and I'm going to extract the points from there then we'll have 5 points in each from the top and bottom okay now we'll shift our list from our top points uh, sorry our bottom points will shift that point so we'll connect them and I'm going to make boolean first so we don't we're not gonna wrap our first point so the remain points as you can see we have four points on the bottom now let's connect them with a end point start and end point line tool and I'm going to connect these two point uh, those points as a line and as you can see we have four web and we have in the middle another one because as a default they recognize the data structure as a longest option uh, longest option so we'll type shortest list to organize our data so first one and second one we connect them again so we can remove the last line from the structure data structure okay we'll do similar operation on the on the bottom and I'm going to connect the first one in this case I want to have four points from the top and the rest of them we can extract five points from the from the component so let's say expression I remove plus one and I'm going to display my points here so we have at the end one two three four five points because the filtered points from the split list will have four points on the left but what you need is five points that's why I'm going to filter from the B output so we have five points in, in this case and I'm going to copy and paste from there and I'm going to connect my first list a uh, second list and let's filter our points on the top we'll do same operation above so I'm going to copy and paste um, the shift command and shortest list command in this case we're going to shift again our top bottom one and we'll connect these line to the bottom with line tool as you can see oh sorry we have to do the other way around so I'm going to connect that way here we go now we have another opposite webs on the right hand side now we'll we create a web structure in this case and now we we need to connect them with a post so another line command ln and we will connect those split points from the tree basically these are all the points from two trees so let's connect first one and last one so now we have a simple trust structure in grasshopper that we are almost ready to send ready to use karamba however on this top code lines top uh, post lines and we have so we have post lines and web and another web on the right side and we have top code and bottom code lines here 
But in Karamba, we have to separate all this connected line individually. So you need to have a single line, splitted line, instead of one single line. Okay? So this is wrong. In Karamba, we have to split these single lines to calculate in Karamba. Okay? So to do that, We'll find out our line, which is which is first one and second one here, this one and here, this one. And in order to split, we'll use shatter command, shatter, and let's connect those two lines. And we'll use parameter from the points we divide. So. As you can see, we have parameters of points along the curves. So we're going to connect these points here. Then, how many point, how many lines we'll have? In a, as you can see, mm, let's flatten these lines, and we'll have total 32 lines in this case. Seems like it's a little bit more than what I expect. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we need total 16 point, uh, lines, but in this case we have 32, which means it somehow lines are duplicated. So what I'll use will type remove duplicate lines from Karamba, and we're going to connect this line output, segment output to line. Then we'll at the end have 16 lines that we can convert to chords members. Okay, until now we create now we create um, parametric truss structure that we can calculate in Karamba. We can also change this segment and as you can see when it's uh, odd number of points division then the Karamba, uh, this truss structure is going to create this cross uh, members in the middle, so I want to avoid this cross members in this tutorial, so I'm going to make them to even number. So whenever we move the slider, it becomes even number and it will give us center post and um, mirrored uh, webs as a truss structure.